monsters of the ocean, storms of freaks of nature. Mature storms are the most powerful events on the planet, and one day unleashing the equivalent force of the world's nuclear arsons. Given time, these loose cannons on the ocean's deck give a quarter to no vessel. We begin here with the breaking news, several states being slammed by this historic storm. Homes falling into the ocean wind gusts nearing 150 miles per hour. Mountains like Mount Shasta bracing for up to three feet of snow. Further north, the Washington coast barely hanging on. It sounds so benign. The Pineapple Express sounds almost nice, but no, this is an atmospheric river that stems from the warm waters around Hawaii. It's like adding gas to a big fire, and that fire is that developed storm that is hitting now in parts of Northern California, Oregon, and Washington State. This will... These sea battles never decide who's right, only who's left. Its first target, the Pacific Northwest. In Northern California, winds are picking up speed and could reach 70 miles per hour. In San Francisco, the great highway that runs along the Pacific Ocean shut down. This area of Oregon is going to get absolutely pummeled. As sailors in little boats the size of lifeboats, we don't have the luxury of hiding 100 feet up in comfy enclosed watertight wheelhouses or lounges on 1,000 foot ships manned 24 7 on all decks. We are literally part of the storm itself, seemingly lost in between swells, dealing with the waves and ripples there. We are in the trenches battling a monster that never sees us. Even when we have crew, it's most always a solo operation. How we strategically navigate prior to the monster's arrival, then keep on through the dark night wrestling the beast will determine just how soon and if we live to see another day. How do we get here? Over the years, we get a little dinghy and go for a stroll on the Pacific Ocean. The Columbia River Bar reopens after being closed to an early winter storm. At most, I have a three-day window to avoid south, clearing the rugged stormy terrain of the Pacific Northwest. That's impossible. About 25 miles offshore of Tillamook. Another strategy is mandated requiring intimate understanding of these freaks of nature. Look at that, baby. Friends on another vessel wait another day before departing. You see all the way back there the uh, Oregon coast, it's about 40, 45 miles away now. I make my way offshore knowing storm winds will get pinched, pressed by the shoreline with high cascading mountains funneling and doubling wind speeds and wave heights. 100 miles offshore, Snowy White Owl appears circling the mast dozens of times. Birds of prey can get trapped inside a storm till they find a way out on the weak backside. They venture far in their curiosity 
but a snowy owl here is absolutely odd, uncanny, and omen. The mackerel sky known as mare's tail in folklore makes a lofty or tall ship carry low sails or reef such in. The high cirrocumulus clouds formed by shifting high speed wind directions make known a kink disturbance and the jet stream is about to go wild. Very auspicious. The wind becomes ill as it moves across the compass from north to south to southwest. starboard to begin making my way ahead and across the path of the eye to its weak backside. Wind speed begins its rise. By noon winds are southwest 25 knots. At 8 p.m. gale force winds commence and continue rising. All night I sail with the main sail reefed in and main engine at two-thirds throttle. I'd be cruising at eight knots. Instead, over the next 12 hours, I make no headway, letting the monster make its way past me. Rather than getting sucked into the eye's strong side with its dynamic trough and violent main front pressing accelerating wind speeds and wave heights close to shore. 